But um, in all of your experiences, what's the biggest mistake entrepreneurs typically make in the fundraising process? I'll, I'll, I'll give you my biggest mistake. Uh, and, and this is such an easy one to fix, too, which, I'm, which is why I'm talking about it. So inevitably, after uh, that initial meeting, when people start to get interested, and you'll know they're interested because they ask this question, which is, what do you think about valuation? What's your expectations? And uh, this, this is a very loaded question, and you should know that, because um, there's a lot of answers in a number. And, and that, those answers, um, uh, the, the embedded kind of motivations of, of the team is in that answer. The expectations of existing investors is in that answer. The expectations of what you want to produce for your future investors is in that answer. So it's a very loaded question, and one you ought to handle, handle very carefully and with a lot of thought. Um, in general, I'd say the, 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 uh, the best philosophy is to try and, and let the market determine what that valuation is. Because what your pre preconceived notions about what valuation are may be completely different from what that investor's expectations are or, frankly, the market. Um, so I, I, in general, I like to say this is the valuation of the company at the last round. This is what we've done since the last round. We think we've done a good job in delivering value to our investors and, and to our customers. And, uh, and, and we're going to let the market decide, basically, what, what the valuation on the next round is. And I, I, it may be a cop-out, but in, in some ways, it, it's the best answer to that question, which is you also get to see what, what your potential partner or investor's expectations are in that question. And sometimes I, I think turning it around and saying, what, what do you think the valuation should be? Is, is an interesting question as well. So it, that is a, you should know that that's a, a, a very, um, uh, it's, a, it's a loaded conversation and one that you have to enter in very carefully. And in a lot of ways, you shouldn't feel that the responsibility is on you to set that valuation since we're, that's our business. You know, we, we, we generate returns for our, investor, our investors by hopefully buying low and selling high. We, we should have an opinion about what your company should be worth. And if, hopefully it's consistent with what you think is a reasonable valuation. And if not, you should move on to the next investor.